Let's look at question 15. A gaseous hydrocarbon X contains 85.7% of carbon by weight. 4.2 gram of the gas X occupies a volume of 3.36 decimeter cube at STP. Molar mass carbon 12 gram per mole. Hydrogen 1 gram per mole. One mole of gas occupies a volume of 2.4 decimeter cube at STP. A. Determine the empirical formula of X. B. Determine the molar mass of X. C. What is the molecular formula of X? Now we want to understand this type of question further. We need to break down the information one by one. First, if we want to solve A, determine the empirical formula of X, we need to figure out certain things. Hydrocarbon is actually a compound CXHY. Only carbon and only hydrogen. Even though in language they started off by saying hydrocarbon, but we need to bear in mind that when we write formulas for compound, we write C first before H. CXHY. So the information given to us is X and Y. The mass of carbon is 85.7. Okay. If you use 100% or 100 gram to minus this, we will get 14.3 gram. Alright, so the second step will be finding the mole. Number of mole is 85.7 divided by 12. By the way, the mistake is it is not supposed to be XY, it's supposed to be C and H. That's carbon, so molar mass of carbon is 12. So 85.7 divided by 12, that will give you 7.14 mole. All right. On the other hand, the number of mole for hydrogen is very straightforward because you divide by 1, so you still get 14.3 mole. Now the ratio or the empirical formula for this hydrocarbon is 7 to 14. 7 to 14 is like 1 to 2. So we know that the empirical formula for this hydrocarbon X is actually CH2, empirical formula, EF. Now, let's go back to the question. Do you also realize that they give us additional information and this information is 4.2 gram of the gas X occupies a volume of 3.36 dm cube at STP. Alright? Do not use 4.2 gram to calculate empirical formula. 4.2 gram of the gas X occupies a volume of 3.36 decimeter cube is meant for us to find the molar mass of X. Question B. Alright, so now we look at question B. Determine the molar mass of X. Do you remember I mentioned something about number of mole equals to mass over molar mass? It can also be volume over 22.4. Alright, so our aim is to find the molar mass of X, the actual molar mass of X. So we need a whiteboard. So the information we were given is 4.2 gram of this gas X can occupy 3.36 dm cube at STP. Now we need to find the number of mole first. Mass over molar mass. It can also be volume over 22.4. Right? So this is what we are supposed to find, the molar mass of this hydrocarbon X. Now, can I put this information here? Yes, I can. Now, can I also put this information here? 3.36. So, you'll be able to get 3.36 divided by 22.4. That will give you the answer, the final answer of 3.36. divided by 22.4. So you get 0 0.15 more. Okay, 
can I also write 0.15 mole here? Yes, I can. So 4.2 is the actual mass. I need to find the molar mass. All right. With a new page, 0.15 equals to 4.2 over molar mass. So the molar mass is 4.2 divided by 0.15. That will give you molar mass of 28 gram per mole. Okay, 28 gram per mole. So let's look at question 16. Silicon hydride has 87.5% silicon, silicon by mass. Determine the empirical formula of silicon hydride. Now, before we do question 16, we nearly forgotten that we need to solve for C remember so based on the information that we have obtained just now we get a molar mass of 28 empirical formula of CH2 so if they, this is just only empirical formula we need to solve for molecular formula of X now pay attention to this CH2 if you were to find the molar mass of CH2 would you get 12 plus 2 times 1 that will equals to 14. Is 14 the molecular the molar mass, the actual molar mass for X? No. How can you relate 14 with 28? The only way is to have this multiplied by 2. So you get C2H4. If you don't believe you can do calculation. 2 times 12 plus 4 times 1. You will get 28. Alright. So let's move on with another question. Silicon hydride contains 87.5% silicon by mass. Determine the empirical formula of silicon hydride. Silicon hydride is in the form of SIH. Okay. SIXY. Alright. So silicon hydrogen. So 87.5 gram. This should be 12.5 gram. So if you find the number of mole, 87.5 divided by what's the molar mass of silicon? It's 28. So you get 3.125 mole. And this one the number of mole is 12.5 mole because you divide by 1. So the ratio should be 3 to 12. So 3 to 12 is like 1 to 4. So the ratio or the empirical formula is uh, SIH4. SIH4.